So the Rays sign another pitcher to their rotation. This time it's 40-year-old starting pitcher Rich Hill. And honestly, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this. You know, Rich Hill has been consistently solid over the last few years. He's been a really reliable starter in the rotation for the Dodgers and last year the Twins, even though he didn't pitch in a lot of games with the Twins. Well, there's nobody really pitched a lot last year, but you get the point. You know, Rich Hill was a pretty good pitcher for both teams, and, you know, you know he was still available, and he signed with the Rays, and this had some really good pitching depth for the Rays. I mean, let me just say this. Someone said this on Twitter perfectly. We basically have two starting rotations on our team. It's that deep. You know, we got Glass now, Yarborough, Patino, got Chris Archer, Michael Walker, and we also got the young prospects and Brendan McKay. Who knows when he'll return, but he should be pitching this year. We got uh, Shane Foss. Well, I don't think he'll pitch this year, but who knows? You know, Shane McClanahan, Brent Honeywell. You know, like the list goes on and on. You get what I'm saying. This is a deep you know, pitching units, and the Rays might not be done yet, you know, we've been in contact with Colin McHugh for the past couple of days, and there's a good chance we're going to be signing him, so, yeah, I really love this uh, signing for the Rays, I mean, Rich Hill might not be in the rotation because of his age, you know, I mean, he's, I mean, no matter what role he's going to be on the Rays, I have confidence he's going to, you know, do a great job, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out of the bullpen as like a bulk guy or something like that. So, wouldn't surprise me. But honestly, you know, one of the other reasons why I like this Rich Hill signing a lot is because, you know, I had mentioned it earlier, he's 40. You know, he's been in the league for a long time. I'm sure he could give off some veteran leadership to all the young pitchers on our team because... It's not that they're desperate in need of it, but they could use it, you know? I think they could use it, and having Rich Hill on this team uh, definitely helps that out a lot. And I'm very excited for the starting rotation this year. Honestly, I wasn't really that excited after letting go Charlie Morton, Blake Snell was traded, and we already had Yanni Chirinos on the uh, IL for the year with the uh, Tommy John surgery and all, but... Honestly, uh, I under I underestimated the Rays again. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Now I'm not saying this makes us, you know, World Series contenders or anything, but this does, you know, help us out a lot of, you know, kind of replacing the needs we had at our starting but pitching unit. So I'm very glad that the Rays have been making moves this year in the rotation. Kind of wish, you know, I guess the only regret I. Not regret. I guess the only thing I wish the Rays could have gotten done was signing Barcelona Osuna, but that was impossible. But other than that, I've been pleased with, you know, some of the free agent signings the Rays have had this year. And I'm very excited this year for this uh, pitching unit. So, anyways, go Rays and let's win the World Series.